Greeting you on your way to the Aliu Mahama Stadium in Tamale is the popular Abedipele Roundabout, named after the greatest footballer to have emerged from the northern regional capital, Abedipele. From Real Tamale Republicans to Real Tamale United, out to Al Saad, back to Real Tamale United before his football story would properly get on course and blow up into what the young here are told and read about. So this is the Abedipele roundabout, clearly named after a three-time Africa footballer of the year, Abedipele, who is still alive. And this was supposed to honor the kind of work he had done for Tamale. Remember, Abedipele played for Real Republicans, the Colts Club, moved on to Real Tamale United, and has done so much since moving out for the country and for Tamale. It's supposed to be the points right before the stadium when you get into Tamale to tell you about the greatest player this town has produced. But it's clearly not in the right state. And we're here to find out just why Abedi Pele's roundabout is not looking like what it's supposed to be. This roundabout was meant to remind visitors and indigents about Tamale's gifts to the world. Imoro Mohammed, also known as Honorable Polo, former assemblyman of Sokbele and government appointee for Tamale Metropolitan Assembly and member of the Work Subcommittee, explains. In 2007, when Ghana was preparing for the CAN 2008, a new stadium was supposed to be put up in Tamale here. And Tamale Metro Assembly had embarked on a program that Tamale Beautification Program. This Tamale beautification program included the beautification of our runabouts. The assembly led by Dr. Aminu Adam Anta, now Deputy Minister Energy, was the Metro Chief Executive, came together and decided that all meaningful sons of Tamale, born here or outside, should lend a hand in the preparation towards beautification of Tamale. We then decided that any other person who contributed towards that beautification, something will be done about him. So the runabout here at Nyohene, the runabout at Lemeshigu, one at uh, by a way around the Simili Runab, which is called the Simili Runabout, and another one at Chubu. Abedi Pili, the Simili Na, and Dr. Chubu made contributions towards that. So his contribution towards the beautification of Tamale, for that matter, this Runabout, was why Tamale Metro decided to name it Abedi Pili Runabout. So a statue of him was put there and later on it was defaced by some unknown people and a hit and run drivers so the hand of that um, statue was broken that defaced it and it was no longer beautiful along the line Tamale metro assembly again decided to start embarking on another beautification processes and in that light they had to remove it pending what to do next under the leadership of uh, Idris Musa Superior, the outgoing chief executive. I wondered why this roundabout, which at first sight reminds you of what football means to Tamale, has stood unattended to for years. I had interesting theories propounded about who needs to do what. When you look at um the nature or the state with, at which uh, this particular uh, I mean, runabout is. Um, I think you would not uh, miss West if you say uh, it's a reflection. Because his allegiance, everybody knows that. Uh, the worldwide, everybody knows Abede Pele. So naming a runabout after him was a very good idea that somebody brought out and then they eventually name it after him. But we have not seen he himself at a, trying to do something about the runabout. When you hear Abedupele's name, you feel that Abedupele was part of us and then he made our name 
the northern part great. That, that is why uh, our forefathers and then our chiefs thought it wise that to name the roundabout after him. But after that, it looked like Abe Repele himself is not interested in such thing, or he has not been not organizing himself as a somebody from the north. Because if you recognize yourself as somebody from the north, and then the northern people uh, recognize you and name a particular roundabout after you, you always have to visit the roundabout, visit the town, and see how interact with the people. But that has not been done. There, there seems to be some culture of poor maintenance in town here. And unfortunately, very unfortunately, you find that sometimes it takes some occasions and some ceremonies for us to put these things in shape. And once those ceremonies are done and dusted, then we leave them back to normal, which is quite abnormal because the indigenous themselves demand that and they deserve beautiful edifices in town here. It mustn't take occasions for us to put them in good shape. And once those occasions are done, then we are back to factory settings. It's not good at all. It is a very unfortunate development, given how the guy has impacted on football, not only in Tamale, but in Ghana as well. But the North being his home region, there is supposed to be something better than what we currently see. And so the status the man has risen to demands that every edifice that is named after him lives up to that standard and not below that standard. So for me personally, it is not in good shape. It must be better than this. And it takes something to start. Probably if there is some ground swell of information that goes around the airwaves and wherever have you, that look, the man is big enough, worldwide acclaim. So let's put the edifice named after him such standards. In this shape, it is bad. I've heard a lot of people saying that uh, Abedi Pele has gotten everything he is today in Tamale, if you like northern region as a whole. But it's like he has not paid back to the region. And I'm beginning to see the reality in a sense that I can actually pinpoint one or two things that Abedi Pele have done for the northern region. With regards to, and I've heard a lot of people, when you ask them about football in Northern Region, the first player they are going to mention is Abe Di Pele. So if that is the case, and we are not seeing anything coming from his direction, definitely people will feel that there's no need for you to fight for him. So I want to believe that it's part of the reason why we are not seeing that at the runabout. It's been named after you, and as you can see, it's not good. So I guess he should have, you know, just come to do something about it. And even if he couldn't have, at least the children are there, Jordan and, you know, they are doing good too. So they could just come and do something about that. Unless I'm wrong, expecting the legend to take care of a monument meant to honor him appeared a bit stretched and begs the question, what happens if he's no more? But the maintenance theory, according to government appointee for Tamale Metro, Honorable Polo appears to be the solution for now. It would have been much better if he hadn't left it in the hands of Tamil Metro Assembly. At least, if I were him, I would have come to put the statue myself and beautify the place because of the brand name Abedi Pele ran about. I would have done that. Ghana's greatest footballer surely deserves more. And even if the Tamale beautification project has hit a snag because its originators know more, the state of the Abedi Pele roundabout must be immediately fixed and with a plan that sustains it.